I think we've been really focused um, as an industry on transaction. You come to sales rallies like this and conventions, conferences, and, and you hear a lot about transactions, and that's not what it is. It's transformation. It's relational. We shouldn't be talking about transactional, we should be talking about relational because that is the draw. That's that magnet for more business. You are watching the 10-4 at R4 Podcast, recorded live at Remax R4 2020 from the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. In this episode, we discuss building community with Amy Somerville of Remax LLC from Denver, Colorado. Now, here are your hosts, Jesse Peters and Michael Thorne. Welcome to the 10-4 at R4 Podcast. I am Michael Thorne of Remax Lifestyles Realty in Langley, BC. And as always, in the co-host chair, Jesse Peters with Remax Executives from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. We are on day two of Remax R4 2020, surrounded by amazing human beings. And one of my absolute favorites is joining us here, Amy Somerville. Thank Hi. you so much. Now, the great thing about this podcast is we got to identify 24 people that we love getting to opportunity to sit down and chat with. 24 smart, awesome human beings. And we just sat down and said, what would you love to talk about that would bring value to the network? And you said building community specifically around video and Jesse and I like get little flutters, little butterflies Aww. in our chest. And you also said the word authenticity. Uh, and an episode of this podcast that we did with Daniel Bertelson from wire to wire, all we talked about was the, 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 the word authenticity and the importance of actually doing that. So, so Amy, off, off the jump, why out of all the topics that are out there that we could talk about, um, people lined up at Remax University right behind us, tons of things in this marketplace, why, why is something like building community something that, that really excites you uh, for, for the network? I guess first and foremost, I, we could talk about Remax University. I could talk to you about RU, education, personal development, professional development all day long. Um, incredibly passionate about it, but I think, uh, you know, to be completely honest, transparent, uh, toward the end of the year, I experienced something in 2019 at the end of the year. I think a lot of people in this industry, top producers, uh, high achievers, go through in their lives, which is just kind of hitting a wall. Um, and, and trying to figure out, like, are, are, you, are you constantly trying to, to um, to, to rise, to grab, to achieve, and what that does when you turn around and look at your family and look at you know, other things that, that, you, that define you, um, and, and really taking a second to acknowledge what those things are. What brings me happiness? What brings me peace? What, what gets me in trouble? Uh, and what gets me out of trouble? And to be honest with you, uh, the same things, over and over and over and over. Authenticity and truth gets me in trouble, gets me out of trouble. Uh, it helps me build relationships. Uh, it's the foundation of relationships is it to be that authentic and to say like, hey, look, I'm open my vest. This is, this is what's going on here. This is what I will do. This is what I won't do. Uh, you know, kind of putting uh, roles around that, but, the, but connection, true connection. I, I guess I've always believed and uh, maybe I've given myself this, this um, responsibility at headquarters is I believe that I'm the broker and agent advocate. Um, having been an agent, having been a team leader, working and supporting the brokers and, and the agents of this amazing, amazing network. Um, it is absolutely my favorite thing to do. Um, and how you do that, building connection, building community, is, is just being vulnerable here and there. Having a conversation that is truly, truly, authentically you and through truth, and one of the best ways to do that is do things like, you know, here I am with a microphone and a podcast. Who knows what's going to come out of my mouth? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to get really scary really fast. Um, but, you, but you also, you know, video is one of those ways is how do you connect with people? Yeah. I hear a lot of times, uh, I was talking to a gentleman actually uh, a couple days ago in, uh, in a restaurant and he said, you know what I need, Amy, is tell me about time management. How do I, how do I spend more time with my family? I, I don't remember the last time I saw my grandbabies and I, you know, I, I'm just expected to be on all the time and I got to answer my phone 24-7. You know, how, how, do I, how do I get time back? And I said, authenticity and truth. It's interesting you say that because if you were to call my cell phone right now, it would say, sorry, I'm not available right now. I'm either out with clients or spending time with my family. That's it's, it. You know, but what's very interesting is the amount of messages that come in where people say, I hope you are spending time with your family. You know what I mean? I think we are living in a world where our clients appreciate that we're just not nine to five zombies of this business, that we are real people with real families and real lives because that makes us just like them. 
that's exactly it for you know being an agent in the industry for seven years not 25 years not 30 years not really knowing prior how it worked oh i'm 24 7 i'm your man i never sleep i'm your gal i'm always here right that wasn't that wasn't the case but coming in that was like the form and the and the model that needed to happen and we do that and we burn yeah. and we burn and we burn and we burn and what gets sacrificed relationships That's and when right. and when you have to look yourself in the mirror say okay what how can i do that that's an authentic defining moment you have that choice right and so i'll, I'll branch off that now being like i i have a seven-year-old and a very witty four-year-old <laughs> indeed okay <laughs> and and an incredible wife and i now and i'm in real estate i say if we are not handling something that is time sensitive or offer situation, I'm off the grid from 4.30 to 7.30. Everybody cool with that? Yeah. It's catch up time, it's dinner time, it's connecting time, it's bath time, bedtime. Then I'm good anytime after, lay it all out. I've been chosen as their realtor for laying out a truth. For that because reason, you yes. are, And they tell you that. And that's what business is all about. So this conversation ended, I wish you guys were there. That's exactly what I said. I said, I'm gonna give you the most powerful script you can have. You call them and you, these buyers and you say, you know what? I love getting calls from you. I am here to support you. We're going to have the most incredible transaction of your life. I've been dedicated to this career, to this industry for 25 years. But you know what I haven't done lately is see my grandbabies. And I hope you don't mind. I hope you can understand. I'm going to dedicate some time to them tomorrow. So I'm not going to be able to take you out to look at properties, but just know that I'll be there on Sunday. Yeah. He started crying. And I said, I'm serious. This is where we are. This is where this industry is right now. We are people working with people, the connection, the community build. You get more business by being that real. And I said, I swear to you, Sunday that person will call you back and say, how were your grandbabies? Yeah, I 100%. Exactly. And, and, and one of the things you said, Amy, at the start of it was like, it gets you, authenticity gets you into trouble and it gets <laughs> you out of trouble. But it also draws people to you and pushes people away. It's the it, filter. It is the filter. The and, magnet. And the... And works both ways. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. And so, and the people that you're pushing away are the people that don't see you that don't value. That's that, and that's fine. You know, I I wear my family on my sleeve, and so does Jordan, and so does Trish on our team. In fact, we just closed a very very hard transaction that lasted 305 days. It was a very long transaction, and at the end of it, there was a thank you card with a gift card, and in that gift card, it said, "Thank you so much." The only way you get to use this gift card is if you take Tracy, Keaton, and Carter out for dinner. This can be used for any other purpose other than that. We went out for dinner. I took the, 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 the waiter took a photo, and I sent it to her, and I said, thank you so much. She says, you have a beautiful family. And so it is in that. That was a connection I had to her because you know what? She has a beautiful family. And um, those are the people that you want to work with anyway. And, and you're right. It, the magnet is the first time I've heard it say that. I use Newton's rule of law, but you're right. It pu pushes and pulls in, in the same direction. I think we've been really focused um, as an industry on transaction. You come to sales rallies like this and conventions, conferences, and, and you hear a lot about transactions, and that's not what it is. It's transformation. It's relational. We shouldn't be talking about transactional. We should be talking about relational because that is the draw. That's that magnet for more business. We were, we were in the speaker's lounge, Jesse, you and I, yesterday or the day before, and we had a bunch of different amazing agents in there, and we were talking about how this industry judges success based on um, closed ends or gross commissions, and I said, wouldn't it be amazing that we could give the awards based on um, a client satisfaction? You know what yeah. I mean? If we could change that, and, and maybe the industry won't change that, but we as individual agents can focus on that because that is that true reward. If you want to have a 25-year career in here, it's that repeat and referral, those relationships. You, you don't have to, if you do that job and take care of people and are authentic, it, but it seems it's a difficult thing, but I think that's the best way to success. Absolutely, and you enjoy your and you'll enjoy your job more and your life. Ex totally, and and I get the transactional measuring stick, and and when we are in this broad, you know, industry, it's tough to really go micro to to measure it all, right? So it's the name of the game. But if in your mind you know that that is no longer the priority, or in the top three things that fill your cup, that help you achieve your clients' wise on those real estate journeys. It doesn't, it doesn't rock my boat as much anymore. You know one, of I mean? the, one of the funny things I heard, we were uh, both, Jesse and I, were at the Diamond Titan chairman session yesterday. 
that is our, uh, and that's transactional, right? We're yep. talking about numbers, we're talking about transactions, we're talking about commission dollars, but do you know what they're talking about in shared best practices? How they're building community, mm -hmm. how they're building their business by referral, how they're re the, the recommended. I, I walked by your table and heard you telling a story about buying dinners. Yeah. You know, you're going to have a closing with your client and say, "I'm going to, I want to throw you a dinner party. Invite your friends. Let's celebrate this purchase. Let's yeah. celebrate your sale." That's so simple and so brilliant, yep. and it's completely based on relationship. Absolutely. Now it's time for the R4 Rapid Four. All right, at the beginning of the podcast, Amy, we had you roll the dice four times. You, like many other guests on the podcast, must trust Jesse and I so much because you just rolled the dice four times without, without asking, asking why. <laughs> I love it. I, saw, yes. I actually saw a little strategy. Roll the dice and then you just grab the microphone and start it. So I, <laughs> I had the question. It was there. In uh, Jesse's hand, he's holding 10 nonsensical, silly questions. He's going to ask you four of them based on the roll of the dice. Jesse. Amy's first role was number 10. If a movie were made about your life, Amy, who would play you? Why, why you gotta go with the tough questions? <laughs> I'm really bad with like actor, actress names. Um, uh, Denzel Washington. Oh, wow. exactly what we were thinking. Wow. Strong, powerful, charismatic. Beautiful. Handsome. <laughs> <laughs> number Deep six. voice. Deep voice. <laughs> number six. Changing it up. How many chickens would it take to kill an elephant? 1,740. Oh. 37. Close. I don't oh. know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Was that a magic number for Seems you? Did, did that number actually mean something to you? No, I was trying to look at my numbers that I rolled there and had <laughs> them all together. <laughs> number five. Uh, in 40 years from now. That's a good question. What will people be nostalgic for? Yesterday, I remembered um, Hypercolor. <gasps> was, oh. it, was, it, was it the t-shirt that got hot and cold yes. and changed? Yes. I want to bring it back. I'm nostalgic for it right now. Um, uh, but yeah, but, those, yeah, now but Hypercolor back. was really awkward. I remember wearing it when I was 11 and like, why am I sweating under my underarm? <laughs> I, like that change, I'm like, this is... I was like, yeah, that's staying in the drawer. <laughs> the shirts were good, but then they made the shorts, and that was a problem. Um, all right, uh, nostalgia for uh, Netflix. Oh, there you go. Uh, and her last question is number eight. If animals could talk, which would be the rudest? I'm going to say by far the cat. Oh, yes. Number three. You are my peeps, Amy. That is the third cat rumor animal fourth we've received. For sure. Amazing. And that brings us to the end of this episode of the 10 Ford R4 podcast with our guest, Amy Somerville. Thanks for joining us. My co host is the energetic Jesse oh. Peters, and I'm Michael Thorne. Nailed it, buddy. We'll see you in the next one. Over and out. That's this week's episode of the 10 Four at R4 Podcast. With your hosts, Jesse Peters and Michael Thorne. Don't forget to join us next week for another episode. Thank you for watching.